Okay, I'm back with another fun tutorial. Um, uh, today we're I'm going to show you how to create an elegant snowfall with uh, a glowing orb and some glowing text. Uh, now, here's a preview of the uh, final effect um, that we're going to be working on. Beautiful. Love it. Now, there are going to be a couple of things, uh, two things actually, uh, that you're going to need for this video to work. Um, Particular and VC Reflect, um, uh, both of which I'll have in the description for download. Um, the Particular, you can download the trial version or buy Particular, uh, it doesn't matter to me. Um, VC Reflect is a free download, which is the uh, reflection that we got here with the uh, text. So. Um, that's pretty much it on what you're going to need for this tutorial to be able to create this. And, uh, so, let's go ahead and get started. Um, we're going to come up to your new, new composition. Alright, um, I like these settings, uh, 1,280 pixels by 720 pixels. Um, select OK and uh, first off we're gonna uh, want to create a new layer by uh, pressing command Y or control Y for Windows and uh, we're gonna, it doesn't matter what color it is but f and then, well actually I want to make it just white um, and then click on the layer and press command D to duplicate the layer or control D for Windows and uh, for this layer right here, we're going to click it, press enter, and name it BG for background. Alright, and then we're going to click on this layer, press enter, and name it floor. Alright, so background layer, we're going to come up to effect, and we're going to generate a ramp. We're going to come up to, uh, we're going to go to the end color right here. We're going to change this to black. Uh, we're going to come to the start color. We're going to change this to light blue. Well, no, not light blue, dark blue. Let's see. About right there. Right there is pretty good. Um, we're going to change it to a uh, radial ramp. We're going to move this right here in the center. And we're going to move this about right here. That looks pretty good. And now the floor layer, let's bring that on top. Uh, let's make that a 3D layer. Uh, press W to get to the rotate tool. And we're going to click it. And then we're going to hold shift and rotate it. So it's a smooth rotate. So it's completely flat. And uh, we're going to move it down about right here. Where this line is hitting right here. And we're going to just expand it and then send it out a little bit more. And uh, we're going to keep on sending it out. Just eh, This is pretty good right here. Um, now we're going to create uh, a light. Um, so we're going to want to come up to here, new, light, and we're going to change it to this color blue, you know, light blue right here. Um, Here's the code if you want it, 0069F7, to get the same exact color I have. Um, we're going to click OK. Then we're going to bring it right here, and then we're just going to send it back. About right about here would be good. Um, Let's go back into the light. Yeah, that's good. Alright, I'm going to bring it up just a little bit. Okay, that's looking pretty good right there. Um, 
now we're going to add our text, which is, uh, mine is going to be M-A-D-D-A-W-G-T-U-T.C-O-N. And uh, we're going to make this a little bit bigger. And uh, we're going to drop, we're going to put this in 3D space. We're going to rotate it. About and we're going to put it about right here. And now we're going to uh, come into the material op options right down here and turn accept lights off. So you can see the text clearly. And uh, with that, we're going to um, add an effect uh, perspective bevel alpha. We're going to turn that up just a little bit more. That is looking pretty good right there. Um, two is okay. Um, let's rotate this just a little bit more. Nah, it was pretty good right there. Um, well, now once that's done, we're going to add our glow. So, um, effect, uh, stylize, glow. We're going to turn this down to about like 44. So, all right there, that's, that's pretty good. Um, right there, that's that's perfect right there. Um, now what we're gonna do is uh, we're gonna come up to here, add new, add a new layer, um, camera, uh, 24 mm. Now with that, it's gonna make it look a little bit different. So just change up a couple of things. That's pretty good right there. I'm just going to make it a little bit smaller. There you go. And then we're going to come into the camera, camera options, and we're going to turn depth of field on. And with that, we're going to just mess around with the settings. Just to get it how we want it. At, turn the aperture up. So we don't want it too bad. And we want to be able to see it clearly, but just enough to know, just enough for you to know that there's depth in the uh, video. All right, now you can see it blurring off a good a good bit. And uh, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna create our little orb, which is you know pretty cool. Let's go into here, um, layer, new, adjustment layer, and uh, then we're going to go to effect, generate, lens flare, and then we're going to move this lens flare right on top of the light, and we're going to change this lens flare to 35mm prime, and there you go, we got our little thing, but that's not all we're going to do. Um, we're going to, uh, cr uh, now we're going to go to effect, and this is going to be all on the uh, adjustment layer. We're going to go to color correction, tint. It's going to be tinted all the way. And then we're going to go up to effect, color correction, curves. And we're going to turn it out just a little bit. All right here would be good. Thank you.